I was surrounded by great food growing up. My grandmothers were both incredible cooks and just going over to their homes, you know, the generosity of the table, the flavors, the aromas, and I can be back in that space, you know, and smell the smells and taste the bread and have the pastry. Jerry is a quintessential chef that brings art to food and food to art. So not only is this food beautiful, but it's natural. In I believe all great chefs are involved in farm to table and they can take this food from the raw state and make it this magical presentation of flavors and aromas and taste and, and, and make a feeling of contentment and beauty. He's a cook's cook. He loves food. He, he understands food. He's been doing it all his life. He's been followed by many, many people and given, you know, 28 Zagat ratings and, and rated the best of the best. He loves cooking and food so much that he'll invite us over on a Sunday and insist on making his grandmother's recipe of meatballs and he just does it with such ease and Sally too. He just can't go without cooking. He just loves it so much. I met Jerry the first time at the Buckhead Diner in the early 90s when he came to town and revolutionized the restaurant business. He had set the world on fire over there. The place was just hopping. It was the in place to be. And Jerry, in his chef coat, towards the back of the bar over there in the kitchen, held court. So many of the other chefs in town have at some point worked for Jerry. He's been a mentor, he's been a friend. You can count on Jerry to be a trustworthy, loyal friend and partner in anything that he does. We started to have these conversations about what we could do over there with Patio by the River. We brought in a couple other partners, Ron Charbo and Ron San Martin, and we bought the restaurant. We created the dream, and Jerry ran the help. Jerry was the driving force behind Canoe, and uh, we opened the doors, and it's been successful now for 22 years. Ari is my favorite restaurant. Anytime my wife and I have a, a milestone of any kind, we always come to Aria. Many times I'll have business clients in town, and I'll bring them to Aria, and they always comment on how good the food was and how good dinner was and their entire experience. Jerry is at the top of his game. He is one of the finest chefs I've ever come across. On top of being a great restaurateur, he's a great humanitarian. The big thing about this all along the way with his hard work, his diligence, his genuine hospitality. Jerry is one of the kindest, most giving people you ever meet. I can't even count the number of charitable things that Jerry has done in and around the city and around the United States. Him and I, we, we do a lot of stuff together. Both him and I really don't have it in our hearts to say no. When Jerry gets behind a cause and he's involved in it, he definitely takes charge and he will enlist his colleagues to join in. He'll sell them on what the project is. He's a pillar because of who he is and, and what he does and, and why he does it. The Lifetime Achievement is a very, very important award to recognize people that have made significant contributions to our industry. This year, Jerry is our first executive chef and restaurant owner that will be receiving his Lifetime Achievement Award. If I was a musician, this is the music I want to play. I come to a little concert that I'm giving every night. The beauty of our business is the people. You know, that's what makes it so magical. That's what makes it so intoxicating. That's what makes it so want to be a part of it. We put on a show every night. We throw a party every night. Who wouldn't want to do that? <laughs>